think we've all been to that game where it starts out fine, feels good, think you're gonna do really well, and then just something goes terribly, terribly wrong. So let's watch this again. Watch the thin tree on the right there. Damn. Break my camera. Doesn't work for the rest of the day. Uh, which is why all of the f footage bear, after this particular bear, game uh, has no gun cam, so I apologize for that. But uh, I, don't I see bottom, Luke. I was don't fine. See bottom. Uh, didn't bother me at all, as far as pain wise, uh, until after the event was over, Luke, and then I could guy? truly feel it uh, in my shoulder where I had actually smacked into that Luke, tree there, guy? which uh, you know became my good friend. I gave it a big hug. You know, gave me a fist bump, one would say. When I hit that tree, I did manage to not only break my camera, uh, but I later found out that what I only did was I twisted the front grip. But uh, my gun does start leaking, you'll notice, towards the end of this round. Uh, and I do end up having to switch guns afterward. Luckily, Adog was there right as our pit crew right photographer, right and right she managed to go get that ready for me because we actually had our next round right away. So she ran down and got everything ready for me, um, lickety split in time for me to get back for the next round. So this event is again happening at Bad Company Paintball in Indiana, Pennsylvania. And it was a great two-on-two -two man event. Uh, I definitely plan on going back next year. And I want to give a big thanks to uh, Tim Toy who runs the, the uh, arena and everyone else that was there, all the refs and everyone. It was a great event. And I definitely plan on going again next year. Right there, I don't know how I didn't hit him. Uh, <laughs> definitely should have. Uh, but I didn't. I think part of it may have been that because my, my gun was leaking, I wasn't shooting uh, quite the feet per second I should have been. It may easily have just been the, that I missed. That that's an, is entirely possible. Unfortunately, after Luke got out on the top of the hill there, the opponent on the top of the hill, Luke's mirror, was able to flank me, and there's not much I could do, so it's just a matter of time until I got hit right there, and uh, they managed to then get the flag and get all 100 points for themselves. So we lost it, but it was still a great game. I had a lot of fun with it, other than uh, that tree, which uh, did become my friend, I guess. But uh, quite painful, quite a painful experience. They're going up the hill as well. So now for round four, as you can see, I've switched to my enemy because my E-Tech was leaking. I didn't know why at the time. And this was right after. It was back-to-back -back rounds for us on this one. Uh, so luckily Adoc was able to go get everything ready for me, but um, I still didn't feel anything in my shoulder at the time, or in my knee or anywhere else for that matter at the time. Um, I didn't start feeling it towards the end of the day after we st stopped playing, thankfully. Adrenaline is a fun thing. It kept me going, uh, despite uh, having a, an accident, which I'm sure we can all relate to having run into something or tripped over something at some point. 
So I do apologize for not having a gun cam for the rest of the day. Um, it does make it a little hard to see. I apologize for that, but uh, you know, I can only <laughs> only work with what I have. Yep, can you get the center? Is he at blue barrels? Blue, blue triangle barrels? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna bump up to my left. You ready? Yeah. Just a quick refresher on the, how the points work. It's 20 points for every elimination, 20 points for the first flag grab, no, 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 no. and 40 points for a flag hang. On me! There's on me! And this event was a lot of fun, not only just in general, but also the fact that there was such a wide variety of players. So there were anywhere from uh, little kids that you know, I've played but and have certainly never done a tournament before, all the way up to um, actual semi-professional players that are, I believe they were uh, D3 is what they were, and they took first place obviously, uh, certainly beat the rest of us who are just weekend warriors as you call it, I mean, I guess technically I'm slightly more than that, but uh, certainly not on their level by any means. I'm moving left, okay? So at this point, Luke is out, obviously, and I'm at a very dis big disadvantage. There's two of them, only one of me, and time is running short. So I have to try to make some sort of move. So I push up here, trying to get to the flag, uh, but I get pinned. I still actually don't know where the second player is, uh, but the one at the top of the hill has me pinned pretty good. And I swear I hit this guy. Uh, you can't see it on this footage, unfortunately, but I saw it go and hit him in the collar area or the chest area it obviously bounced to me he definitely did not get hit not anywhere near accusing him of cheating but it's just super disappointing when you know you hit him uh, but it doesn't break that is, it's just the worst feeling in the world especially when it's a tournament on the line I unfortunately don't manage to make it to the flag don't manage to get either of them out either which is unfortunate but I do hold them off these games are uh, timed at five minutes, so I do hold them off. I get hit here, but sure enough, that's the horn. So time is up, and all they got was 40 out of 100 points, so I was pretty happy about that. For our fifth round of the day, I neglected to turn the camera on while I was on the field. I thought I was turning it off when I came off, and apparently I was turning it on after I got out. So this video begins with 20, 20 points to 20 points. I had been shot in the hopper there, and one of their players, Luke, had shot at the bottom. He's walking off there on the left.
think so. I don't know. I never saw the other guy. I had no idea where he was any, at any point. I gotta go get air. I do want to see him. I think what Luke needs to try to do is shoot him and shoot and run and get the flag. But I don't know where the other one is. Probably. I don't think Luke would be here. After a nice here. battle back and forth, Luke unfortunately had the low ground, but he got him anyway. Right in the pack, you'll see a very bad place to get hit. There's a flap on the pack that was falling off. Uh, Luke managed to shoot the opponent and get the flag and got us all 100 points. Five stars, all the best. Inside the strap on the pod pack. <laughs> oh. Luke, Luke!